Hey guys, welcome into my channel. So today is Friday, it is quite early, and we're gonna head out and do some thrifting. Now here in Pennsylvania, it is a stormy, rainy, crazy forecast day. We're supposed to have high winds and like an inch of rain, super cloudy, it's very dark out right now. What better day to go thrifting? All right, hit that like and subscribe button. I'm taking you with me. Okay, we're going to check out what the color tag of the week is, and it is green, so everything is half price today, green tag. Okay, we are just in the door, and I think I found a lamp for my living room. Wait a second, let's back that up. So while this lamp is made out of pottery, and while it has a nice rib design, I'm starting to think to myself that this is very 90s looking. Not really what I'm looking for, but at the time, it seemed like a really good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the cart for 99. And now that's causing me to look at lamps, which I don't wanna pick up for resale. But look at this lamp up here. I think this is plastic. And it has a mother of pearl or an abalone shell inlay. Let me see if I can do this without killing myself. It has a bird pattern. Okay, that is very, very unique. I almost want to think it's wood. Oh my goodness, I think somebody would want that without the shade, of course. I would leave the shade behind. All right. I'm going to say no, but I think that's really good. Hmm. All right, but we're definitely going to go with this lamp. Because like I said, I've been, I think I sold the lamp in my living room, which left me without a lamp. Oh dear, is it a lamp day? Don't tell me it's a lamp day. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. What, what is going on here? Oh, $12.99. Still think I can make profit on that one. Uh, all right, I'm either gonna need a second cart Let's see what the top looks like, if it has its finial. It does. The shade looks to be in fairly good condition. All right, I'm gonna balance it right here. I'm gonna have to either get a second cart already or a bigger cart. I might take the shade off. Oh, wait a second. Is this shade dusty or is it? No, I think it's just dusty. It's gonna need a good, a good dusting, but we're gonna go ahead and take it. Okay, I am even happier now that I'm going to put this lamp back. I realize the shade does have issues, and the shade is a big part of what makes this lamp. $12.99 wasn't horrible. I could have gotten probably $50 or $60 for it. The base is nice. I could get rid of the shade, but I think that the shade really made it. On closer inspection, see the staining? That's not gonna come out. The dust would come off with a good brushing with like a sponge, even a magic eraser. But, so I get to put this back, which probably was against my better judgment anyway. I'm not sure who makes this. It looks to be a pressed glass. You can tell by the seam coming down. A pressed glass biscuit jar. I'm going to have to take the tape off of it to make sure there's no cracks around the rim. Okay, so a flower on the bottom. I don't know if that would be Libby or Anchor Hawking or who this would be. It doesn't really seem especially old, but I do like it. Oh, there's some hair or fuzz in there. That's kind of gross. Hmm, I do like the pattern. For $5, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take it. I will probably do a Google image search on this and show you guys on the screen what it's all about. But for now, we're putting it in the cart. Before I do that, I just wanna show you this lamp. So I had to put back the other lamp <laughs> and quickly replaced it with this lamp here, which is newer. Let's see if I can get everything to stay. I like the color of this. Not especially crazy about this burlapy shade, but I'm giving this thought. I must be crazy. We know me. <laughs> I 
it's just what I do. All right, so that's what we've got so far. We have a little, little toy cake uh, plastic food. We're gonna go ahead and take that for $2.99. I did breeze through the clear glass aisle. There's always a lot of clear glass. But like I said in my last video, guys, I am really over clear glass. I tried so hard to learn more about it and I feel like I'm no further along than I was. All right, so this one is made in Slovakia. It is 24% crystal, but does that make it good? $2.99. I always look for things in pairs quite pretty but I, I have no idea and to comp every glass piece is just more than I can bear at this point I am sure I am passing up so many good things Shannon is that good Shannon Crystal you guys are probably all yelling at me get it get it and I can't hear you wish I could hear all you guys who know glass all right, like I said, lots of pretty glass, but glass has never been my thing. I think that's what the disconnect is. So just giving you a little overview of what the clear glass aisle looks like. A glass star. It is quite heavy, it has a little bit of chipping on the edges, on the points of the star. Okay, this is a pear. Oh, that's kind of pretty. <laughs> Clear crystal pear with like a diamond pattern, $2.99. Sure somebody would want it. For now, I'm just gonna look up the pressed glass biscuit jar. All right, we're taking a look at the white aisle. Hey, this isn't white, this is pretty. Oh darn, it has chips. Oh, somebody made this, that is beautiful. It is signed, Nate made it. Good job, Nate. I wish it didn't have cracks. I would grab it for $1.99. I'm very glad if Goodwill is recognizing that it has damage and maybe somebody will save it for a smaller price, a lower price. That's a good thing. If they're going to put chipped items out on the floor, I'd love to see that it's really at a, you know, a sell-through price. So hopefully somebody saves it. Unfortunately, I can't go around saving all the chipped stuff. <laughs> All right, so the white aisle. I don't see the creamer to this. Eggshell. Hmm. I do see a couple of the cups back there. Do we see the creamer? I'm looking right at this. I don't see it. So it's a treasure hunt when you come to Goodwill, for sure, because the shelves are so packed at this Goodwill. I don't think I've ever seen these shelves empty. They are constantly putting items out every day and clearing and putting more out. So every time I come, which is quite often, it's always new stuff to look at. He's sweet. Again, I'm trying not to buy decorative plates. For me, they're a very slow mover, very slow. The only plates that I once did really well with and I considered them decorative were these floral plates. I probably don't have photos anymore of that uh, pickup. Floral plates from Israel and they were from the 1930s. Stunningly beautiful and I did not even have to give that thought. And I believe the plates sold for over $100 a piece. So that was a great find. Okay, the white aisle, a little non-eventful. Let's see what else we can find. What are these? What is happening here? Seems to be an Amberina glass candlestick holder with a clear glass, maybe cut glass, no pressed glass, lampshade, $10. I don't think these originally came together. I think somebody has glued them in. I can see a foil sticker, but I don't want to try to pull them apart. It's the candlesticks that are capturing my attention. $10 each. I'm afraid to even try. Yeah, these things are in there. Maybe it's putty, though. Oh, that one's got a crack right there. Maybe somebody else tried pulling them apart. Okay, but the candlesticks seem to be a true Amberina. I don't think they're flash or overpainted. Okay, if it was just the candlesticks, I would have grabbed these. I feel like somebody's ruined them with the shades if those aren't original. I think somebody gave up their owl collection. We have owls everywhere. This guy is a bottle. He's leather covered. 
You can see the leather disintegrating a little bit. I've never seen an owl one. I don't think he's overpainted. I think he was made that way. Four ninety nine. A couple of little owl figurines, but nothing really special. Green glass salt and pepper shakers. This is Moser glass. I don't know that this is going to be really worth much. Looks like they need a good cleaning. But for two ninety nine, I'm going to go ahead and put these in my cart. I really like that green color. And like I said, I'm going to have to clean them out, but that won't be too hard because it looks like you can get a brush, you know, in the bottleneck. So we're going to go ahead and put those in the cart. I will run a comp, but for $2.99, if I forget to run a comp, not a big deal. It does have a little dent there, but I don't know that that's a deal breaker. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take those. Let me see if I can tuck them down here. Let's continue on the green aisle. It's a little ring basket. I don't know if that's the original use of it. Kind of cute to put rings in by the sink, though. A fish plate. Very modern. Let's see who's making this. Up target threshold. It's a serving platter made out of stoneware. I see two little dishes here. I'm going to take a look at these. These seem to be older. I wish you a Merry Christmas, $2.99. Oh, no, these are Two's Company, and they were 75% off the $7.99. So they were $2 originally. I would have liked them better if they were vintage, so I'm going to leave those. Now, they could be from, like, the 90s or early 2000s, which is still vintage. But when I say vintage, I mean the true 30 years old. I don't even know what we're looking for today, but it's definitely not nature's promise organic black beans. That sounds so dangerous. I won't even go there. Lots of food on these shelves lately. It's a shame that, you know, if somebody buys them and they're expired, but I guess canned goods, you have a fairly good chance of not dying. <laughs> I'm surprised Goodwill is still allowed to sell food on the shelves. I wonder if anybody really, really buys it. Lots of artwork which I'm trying to avoid. Oh, this is a pretty old one. Print is lovely. It does have some spotting inside. I don't think that's original to the picture. It almost looks like it could be, or it could be on the glass. Yeah, that might be on the glass. I do have hand wipes in my handbag. Let's see what the back looks like. Oh, it is an old one. That is lovely. Mm, I think I'm going to wait on it, though, because the matting is discolored, too. This here is all yellowing, so I'm going to leave that one behind. But, boy, that was a pretty one. This picture set is a set I've never seen before. Batter, syrup, butter. Imagine using that on a Sunday morning for making pancakes. Unmarked on the bottom. This one does have a crack in the glaze, it looks like. I don't think that goes all the way through. Oh, these are really sweet. Unmarked. I can't imagine these would bring more than 25 or 30. And Goodwill wants seven for the set, for the three-piece set. Very nice to see a set price. Hmm. Do I want to turn those into, say, 25? I think seven is too high a buy-in for 25 return. Too much work. And they probably break quite easy. But how pretty are those? Look who's in the house. <laughs> you surprised me. I thought you were working most of the day. No, just half a day. Half a day. Okay. And then on to more work. Yeah. <laughs> Unless we're both going to play hooky and do something more, fun. More fun work, though. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Pajama Pals. That looks old. Who's Pajama Pals? We see a date on this. It's a sample. 1995. Hmm. Lovey doll. $1.99. Maybe I should look that up. Do I want this? I don't want this. Do you want this? No. no. <laughs> okay, I put the blue lamp back on the shelf, and every time I look at it, I'm thinking we need that, but we don't have light blue in the house. See that blue lamp? Uh, we don't need a blue lamp anywhere, do we? Yeah. Hmm. I don't think so. 
Okay. All right. I still have this lamp, and I'm even second guessing that. So basically, I have some belts and a cake. <laughs> I'm gonna just pull over this side and show you guys the belts that I found. I found this leather belt. I wasn't able to film picking it up because there were too many people around. It costs, they want, $3.99. Really nice leather. Woven in the middle. I have a question about these findings. Some of the better belts have sterling silver. I don't think these are, though, because it seems like they have a little bit of distressing. And do they say who made it? Nope just has some initials again I don't see any branding unless I'm looking right at it but definitely a yes beautiful quality and I also took this belt now this is going to be a slower seller $3.99 and I'm wondering if this is like Brooks Brothers or somebody like that leather what does that say Leatherman limited top grain leather I imagine this will bring like 16, so I'll go ahead and take it because it's in fairly good shape. All right, so I, right now I have two belts. Fisher Price 1987 Wedding Cake. Um, the Moser Salt and Pepper Shakers, which if these were the Jadeite ones, they would bring more money, but I'll probably still get a solid, I don't know, 20, 25 for them. And the lamp that's for our living room, which I'm not sure I'm taking. So basically, I don't have a lot. All right, we got to step up the pace. <laughs> Use your magic and get good stuff. We don't like that, do we? Do you match the other one? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't find the other one. I've been looking for a year. We don't want this one, though, right? We're putting it back. Are we? <laughs> Would you buy it if you were me? You know what the other one looks like on the end of the... I'm not sure. That kind of looks too 90s, right? No. You make the decision. Do we want that lamp? It's up to you. I no, I, you I are... honestly can't remember what the other one looks like. Okay. You have to live in this living room too. <laughs> Ugh, I don't know. I hear the back door opening. <laughs> Let's go chase treasure. Put the lamp down. <laughs> yeah, put the lamp down. Let's get serious. The box looks old. Yeah, it does. But the piece looks old too. <laughs> Does it? Yeah, it's missing. It's missing its other set of wheels. Yeah. For two ninety nine, is it still sellable to Lionel collectors, or you don't think it's worth it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Unless that's where it hooks on to the other train. Mm, no, right? No, I, think, I think it's missing. The... Okay. I'll keep my eyes open for train wheels. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for a living, Karen? Oh, I keep my eyes open for train wheels. Sometimes even when they're missing, if they're... That's what I thought, if yeah. it's one of the older... So you're going to look that up, or just... Yeah, I'm going to look it up. You are? Not, yeah. Because I know some, like, the, especially the engines, they can be beat, and guys will still spend a couple still, hundred hours. Okay. Depending which ones they are. What's in the bag? What are those? Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite. Too bad they're not uh, hero skates. <laughs> oh. The ones you got me the other day. Or a couple so if you guys remember, I gave Roger ago. hero skates. It was a pickup probably, what, about two months ago now? The yeah, hero skates. And I found them in Goodwill, and I paid, I think, twenty four ninety nine. I just didn't have the patience to deal with them. How many pieces were in that pickup? You didn't count pieces, no, did you? There was, I think there was three sets. Of... Okay. <sighs> and Roger put them on his site. Did they take the full two months to sell, or you just put I them just on? I put them on for a week. Oh, so just they've an only option. been on. So they sold the first time around. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just put them on option for a week. Okay, so Roger sold them, and there they are delivered. Five hundred and seventy-one dollars. On a twenty-four ninety-nine pickup. It's I think a good you, deal. I yeah. think I owe you, I owe you a dinner. <laughs> a pretty good dinner. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice, great, sweetie. Nice uh, steak and lobster. I didn't think they'd bring five seventy-one. Yeah. I think I need a finder's fee. <laughs> that's great. I'm glad for you. 
All right, guys. I think by now we all realize that toys can bring a really good profit on eBay. So I was shopping in Goodwill one day and came across a large box of these toy figures and building pieces. This is called HeroScape. I had never seen these before, but just the way the pieces looked told me that this was probably a safe bet. I went ahead and purchased them. I paid $25 and it turns out that this is 13 pounds of these plastic pieces in that box. Well, I didn't have a lot of time to go through this to get them ready for listing. I gave them to my boyfriend, Roger, who's also an eBay seller. He went ahead and listed them as a lot. He just included a few photos and he turned this $25 pickup into $571 sale. That is amazing in seven days time. Now, of course, not all of that is profit. eBay took their fees, but where else can you have a buy-in price on something for $25 and flip it for $571? Great sale, honey. And I was thrilled that I went ahead and had picked this up. So now I'm going to include a few other screenshots. These next few photos are not my listing, but I wanted to show you what kind of profit can be made with HeroScape. You definitely want to learn this one. Okay, so I started out with three lamps in my car. And now I only have one and it's a different lamp. <laughs> This is Ikea. This is a desk lamp, little rough shape. I will clean it up. $4.99. This can bring as much as $50. And I'll probably put this one on for $35. The best part is that it folds for easy shipping. So that's a yes. And I will plug it in to test it. It has a little light bulb in there, so that's great. All right, I just threw this in the cart. $4.99. I have to look this up. These might be sold in Target gonna have to take a look but um, I usually don't do puzzles during COVID puzzles were so hot and they have definitely become saturated but some brands can bring really good money I'll insert a few comps here for puzzle names that bring really good money but for now I'm paying five dollars for this but I will look this one up and I will give you screenshots for what this will bring okay so I just ran a comp I'll put it on the screen five dollars buy-in this should sell for around $30, so we're definitely gonna take it. Again, I never take puzzles that are open. I don't have time to count pieces or put puzzles together to make sure they're the correct pieces, but when they're sealed and under $5, I always run a comp. So now that Goodwill has been running the color tag of the week, they have just started raising the prices by more than double. So $17.99 for a swimsuit. This used to be $4.99. <laughs> it's like such a trick. We're not gonna buy it at these prices and the racks are jam packed. So I imagine a lot of this stuff is gonna go over to the outlet side. Here's one that's green tag. And okay, this one is new, but it was on clearance in Target for $9.20 and $5.99, but that's not bad. So that's good. That would be $3 and it's apartment nine, which is not, you know, a high dollar item to begin with. And it's juniors, but glad to see that one's good. But a lot of the clothing has more than tripled in price. So I am not buying clothing at this store anymore. I'll just go to stores that have clothing at a more reasonable price. There's so many thrift stores. And, um, and I spend thousands of dollars every year in thrift stores. So that's the way that I handled that. I just make sure that what I'm buying, you know, is a good buy in price. Okay, and on the flip side, I found these Merrell's men's hiking shoes, really nice condition. They don't seem to be overly worn. They have been worn some, $15. I feel it's a very fair price, and I'm not sure what they'll bring, probably over 50. I feel it's very fair. You know, Goodwill makes a good amount of money because they were donated for free and I will take them home, clean them up, and sell them. Now, they might not sell right away. It might take a couple of months, but that's a win-win to me when things aren't overpriced. $15 for Merrill's men's hiking shoes. Yes, please. Okay, guys, so the cart has totally changed from when I first started. I am getting the hiking shoes, the puzzle, the Ikea lamp, the Moser glass salt and pepper shakers, <laughs> Roger has a game down here he's sneaking in. Yeah. <laughs> I found a pair of swim trunks even though I'm not doing clothing. 
These are Polo Ralph Lauren men's swim trunks, $7.25. I am getting the two belts and the Fisher Price, I think 1987 birthday cake. That's all I found today, but no worries. I have plenty of inventory at home. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.